What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Tanya with Nightfall Homestead. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your scrap pile of wood or even an old pallet to make these really cute rustic pumpkins for cheap or sometimes even free. First thing that you're gonna wanna do is locate your wood. I have multiple piles of scrap wood. In this project, I'm gonna use some of these pallets that we have. You can get pallets on Facebook Marketplace or just around any of the businesses in your city or your town. Lots of places just give them away. Go find yourself some pallets. You can also break these down with a pry bar and a hammer which is what I normally do because I want that extra two inches of wood, especially with the nail marks in it. I love the nail marks in my wood for my scrap wood projects. But today I am in a hurry because these are for orders and people want them for Halloween. So we are just gonna use a saw and we are just going to cut them right down the side of that beam holding the pallet together. Once you have your scrap pieces of wood, you are going to get them all to be the same size. You are going to need four pieces of wood to be the same size if you are using a wider piece of wood or depending on what you want your jack-o'-lantern to be. Because I, these are like not even four inches wide because of this particular palette, it just had the skinnier um, slats of wood. Usually they have like the six inch ones and I would just use four of the six inch pieces of wood for my square that we're gonna make the jack-o'-lantern out of but since these were smaller ones we're gonna connect those two smaller ones together so there will be like a seam down the middle of it and you'll see what I mean so cut all of your pieces of wood down to the same size so if you're using skinnier ones use eight pieces if you're doing the wider like six inch ones use four pieces and we have these little extra pieces that we'll make leaners with look it's a big mess this is my big mess now we're gonna make our face. And so since these ones, we have smaller pieces of wood, there's gonna be like a seam going down his face and that's okay because these are rustic pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, so we're gonna line up our face and make it to where it fits together the best here. We're gonna create an eye on both sides just by making a half moon. Okay, so you're gonna make your half moon like that and then just like make a circle. And I typically don't use Sharpie for this because then I have to sand more. I usually just use a pencil. Um, but you use whatever you wanna use. Okay, just like that. So we have our eyes and then we're just gonna create a squiggly face. Like that, you see it? And then with our scroll saw, we'll just cut it out um, of each one. Now with the with the bigger ones that are, are more like, you know, wider like this, then not this thick, but this wide, then we would just scroll saw. You need to make some pilot holes so you can get your scroll saw blade down into it. Um, same with this one for the eyeballs, which is just drilling it. I'll show you how we do it. Oh, we can't just like cut into this I mean, we could, but you're gonna have a line right there, a very visible line that you could probably fill with like um, wood glue or something, but it's still gonna be visible no matter what you do. So you're just gonna make a pilot hole. And I like to make a couple of them, especially when it's like something that has corners like this, because it gives you room to kind of turn your saw around a little bit. All right, so then this one you, I don't know what your scroll saw is like. Um, this one takes an Allen wrench, just a standard Allen wrench. So loosen this and then your blade slides out. And I guess I don't know if this is the official way of how to do things. And see how my arm is loose? Once we get this blade up in here and tight, it's very important to have this blade super tight. And of course, if you already know how to run a scroll saw, just fast forward through this. Or if your husband or your brother or who, your, whoever is doing it for you, then don't worry. So look, this is, this is loosey-goosey like this. If you turn your saw on right now, your machine would snap this blade instantly. So up here is a device um, where you can turn it and tighten it. 
And so that's what we're gonna do. We wanna make this nice and tight. Okay, so it's super important that you have this tightened because when, you're, when you tighten this arm to keep your blade nice and um, tensioned between the two, it's like pulling on it essentially. So you don't want this to come out of here, especially since there's no pin holding this in. Um, yeah. Anyways, wear safety glasses. I don't have any currently, so I'm gonna wear my sunglasses. And then you just turn your machine on and you're gonna... Once you have your scroll saw stuff done and you have your face all cut out, you are going to need a base for your jack-o'-lanterns. Now, I have I've not measured any of this. I don't measure them ever. I just make sure that my base is big enough to hold however big my jack-o'-lantern ends up being. So just create a base and you're gonna see me putting it all together here. First, I'm gonna cut my base piece and then your lid piece as well is gonna be the same size as your base. So you're gonna need two of those pieces and then we're gonna put it all together. So now you have all of your pieces cut out and they're ready to be put together, like a little puzzle piece. If you, this is something that you're selling, which I recommend, by the way, because they are best sellers every year. We make lots and lots of money off these jack-o'-lanterns and they're relatively easy and super cheap to make. So make sure if you're selling them, you secure them very well with some wood glue and some brad nails. You can put these together just any way that you want to, with nails, screws, you could use uh, some sort of like industrial strength glue, like wood glue. And, and clamp them together until they dry. As long as you're not being rough with them and like kicking them around and, and like abusing them, then it should be just fine. So I'm going to put some music over my air compressor and my brad nail gun because I'm sure you don't want to hear it, but I'll speed it up too so you can see what I'm doing. All the next time. Once you have that all done, you have your jack-o'-lantern all put together. You saw me put the little just scrap piece of wood on the top of that um, that uh, little lid for it. So that way it's the stem. Um, just any old scrap piece will do. You could even just use a stick out of the yard for the stem. And so the next process is staining them if you want to. You don't have to do this part. It, I like them just bare wood like they are because especially if you're keeping them outside, uh, they will wear down and, and just naturally look nice over the years. But I'm going to stain these, and I'm not using a typical like oil-based stain. I am using just some dark brown paint mixed with a whole bunch of water and just staining them with a, a paintbrush, a big paintbrush. It's real sloppy. It's real messy. Your hands will be black and brown forever if you don't wear gloves, so... So wear gloves, take take my advice, wear gloves. Anyways, you're gonna see me do that. I'm gonna stain them and then we're gonna sand them and then they're gonna be done. Super, super easy. started to get um, dark, the sun was going down, and the sky is always so beautiful here. The mornings, the afternoons, the evenings, and the sunset was super pretty. So we're gonna move inside to sand, but I'm gonna show you the sunset first, and you'll probably see the sunset or the sunrise in lots of my videos. You're welcome. just use a hand sander or you could even just use sandpaper and use your hand you definitely do not need a hand sander I just was in a hurry because it was getting late I still needed to like do supper and you know do all the mom wife things um, so 
Anyways, just sand them down. You can clear coat these if you want to. I just use a, a clear coat spray paint or you could use a water-based polyurethane and brush it on if you want or you don't have to at all. They are super duper easy to make. They are super cute. These make great gifts. They make great items to sell at vendor shows or craft fairs or whatever you call them. Flea markets. You can sell them on your Etsy shop. That's all I've got for you guys today. If you guys like DIY crafts that do not take all of your money out of your bank and you don't want to spend a billion dollars on decor for your house, but you want it to be super cute, you can make cool stuff like this. I make cool stuff, and I'll show you how to make cool stuff too. We also do couponing and homesteading and lots of other cool things, so please consider subscribing to our channel. Like this video if you've made it this far, and I'm going to put some funny bloopers of me trying to do these voiceovers and stuff because I literally mess up so many times. It's kind of hilarious. It's kind of sad even. Uh, anyways, that's all I've got for you guys. Goodbye! My name is Tanya, all things, and I love to make crafts and DIY projects, and I love to make crafts and DIY projects, and favorite craft and DIY, you gotta get, we make these, in today's video I'm gonna show you how I make these rustic wood pumpkins, <laughs> in today,